the way that I was making art before I knew it was art was like making homes, just trying to find home. Florida is like already like a strange place filled with a lot of like contradictions and like strata of like chaos. Growing up, there was a lot of intensity and my parents were just fully, fully overwhelmed. So I think it was out of this idea, you know, escapism does end up being necessary. And it's interesting because it's like, I see so much of that in my work still today. The same things keep coming up. I started programming when I was around eight. I was starting to like use command line and understand that it's like if I had typed print, then I would print the thing. Or like I was like, you know, making ASCII art, which means like arranging letters in a format by just hitting the enter key a lot, just playing around. But then when Windows 95 came out, I started opening up EXE packages. So I was seeing the back end. So yeah, I was opening video games. I was opening the games that came loaded, like Solitaire. I was like trying to figure out how to like open that. And then like would have to try to repair it because it was the family computer and like, yeah, it's just a lot of like breaking things, which I think is like the best way to learn. Of course, nothing is working now that you're here. I need to calibrate it. My go-to tool for animation is always motion capture um, because I want to be able to see something living behind uh, something that's typically pretty sterile. This thing is fun because it's like, you're also just like kind of working with the, the way it breaks. So it's like I've rigged this man to live inside my hand. So the algorithm is trying to search for a humanoid figure using markerless motion capture, and instead it has the only thing they can sort of latch onto as limbs are my fingers. When I first started gaming, I started saving the assets, like the 3D models that I could find. And so I built up a library from when I was quite young and recovered a lot of the assets from those um, hard drives. The first avatar that I remember consciously using was a generic male avatar, and it was trying to find the a neutrality in the internet that I was just navigating. And that is what led to man masks. This is looking back and thinking about when I was playing Call of Duty, I took on this male avatar to sort of like live inside was just, again, like safety or trying to find some sort of point of neutrality. There's this virtual avatar that I've, I've more or less kept in the studio just for myself. And it's this harpy, which is like half human, half bird. She, for me, represents like how I feel very much like in two places at once. She speaks to, I think, a reality that most people feel, which is so much of our emotional and cognitive space lived in virtual spaces and um, but still having a, like being tethered to a mortal coil. Yeah, you grab this guy. So the installation is titled I'm My Loving Memory. The work is you got it. eight plexiglass pieces that I formed and an accompanying AR piece. First they start as paintings, like digital paintings, and they're sourced from 3D renderings, um, spaces that are fully virtual. And then they're just printed out onto the like plexiglass, like just UV printed out. And the way that the UV works is it's embedded inside the plexi so that I can heat it enough and then mold it. They act so much as these hollow body imprints of, of myself. I mean, I'm physically using my body to form them. And I think of them as 
yeah, as, as shields. And the way that the work is installed is it's important that it's shown with its shadow because the AR piece blends with the, the shadows that are made by the plexiglass. And when you walk into the installation, you see the sculptures and then you see this window that's the AR piece. And once you ask the AR piece to start, there's this scene that sort of unfolds in front of you. For myself, it's always it comes back to like my own embodiment and how to anchor this very abstract, loose space in the same dimension that I'm in. It's yeah, it's very sweet how, in a lot of ways, like the work doesn't change. It just like looks different, you know. Like the heart is like still there in a lot of ways. Okay.